Now, we tested um, the creation of user IDs, uh, individual user IDs, uh, by using the SAM account name, which is the user ID attribute on the Active Directory side. But as we know uh, that not all user IDs that exist on the Active Directory side, all these users may not will not be needing or may not be needing access to the SAP systems. So the user IDs have to be created selectively for only those users uh, that need access to SAP systems. Now, if you look at the mapping, uh, when you look at the mapping of the attributes, um, SAP provides you with uh, an attribute called SAP username. Now, this is the <clears throat> attribute that needs to be mapped on the Active Directory side with the SAP user ID. And whatever values we have uh, in this attribute on the Active Directory side, those values have to be created, those user IDs have to be created on the SAP side. Now, since the mapping has been done in our case now, in our example, uh, we have removed or deleted that SAM account name uh, attribute from our mapping, and then we have mapped the SAP username uh, as the attribute that we bring in the user ID into the SAP system. Now, in our previous example, what we have seen is um, we created the user IDs uh, on an individual basis on one user ID. Now, in this example, after we have mapped this mapping, uh, this attribute, SAP username attribute, with these settings uh, filtered, because we are going to use the filter feature now for creating the user IDs. So what this will do is that whichever user IDs have on the Active Directory side, whichever users have this attribute populated with the user, their user IDs, uh, those user IDs will be created in the SAP system. So we are going to use, in the synchronization program, we are going to use the filter feature now. And now we are not going to specify specific uh, user IDs. We'll use the filter feature. And uh, you have the required field because you user IDs is a required field, so we are going to base it on the user IDs. And then if you look at the synchronization mapping, you will have the import field mapped here. So you have to map this import. So this is, this is a change you need to do uh, when once this SAP username attribute has been extended and added into your Active Directory schema. So in our previous example, when we used uh, individual user IDs, this attribute was not extended. Now, it, since it has been done, it has been extended in the schema, we can use it uh, for creating the user IDs now. So, keep that in mind, this SAP username has to be extended, it's an attribute that needs to be extended in the Active Directory schema, and once that is done, in the synchronization tab, you can use this settings, and, and in the mapping, you need to use specify that this is the attribute on which the filtering will be done for creating the user IDs. Now let us go and create the user, uh, run the LDAP synchronization program without specifying the IDs. So let us go and execute the program. Now, in the previous example, we had specified the user IDs in this field. Now, we are going to use the option use user selection and LDAP search filter. So what this option does is, whatever attribute has been used for filtering in the mapping, in the LDAP mapping, it will, this program will use that filter for uh, creating the user IDs or modifying the user IDs. So let us go and create this in SAP system to create the user IDs from LDAP Active Directory into SAP system, you need to select Create in Database option. And the rest of the 
options in the remaining boxes could be compare timestamp or ignore objects. So let's go and execute. Now if you see there were three user arrays that were for for whom the, that SAP username attribute was populated in the Active Directory side. Those three, three user IDs have been created. Now, so if you see here, it says successfully created in database is three user IDs. So let us go and check for these user IDs in SS01. So let's go and So that was, this was one of the user IDs. So if you see the user ID has been created with whatever information we wanted. So if you go back to the other one, so that even that has been created. And if you look at this one, that has also been created. So that's how you use uh, the synchronization program on the filtering. Uh, mechanism to create the user ID. The critical piece is, in this case, that the SAP username uh, attribute needs to be populated. Uh, first, it has to be included in the schema of the Active Directory, and then the fields in this attribute has to be populated with the user IDs that need to be created in the uh, SAP system. So once you do that, you can use the filter option here to run the synchronization program to automatically create all these user IDs uh, in Active Directory that have uh, this attribute populated and those user IDs will be created in the SAP system.